Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! channel my name is Zan as you already know and I am back with another video and this is the Christmas video and Merry Christmas <laughs> hey y'all I just finished setting up my tree and I am so proud of this hard work so I'm actually uh, spending Christmas alone and this is my choice. Before you judge me, let me just take a sip. Let me take a sip. Let me take. There's no vodka here. <laughs> but I've been spending Christmas alone for like three years now and why I choose to do this I don't know I guess the universe knows better than I do so I uh, will give that a uh, question to God he'll answer that for me so the first time I spent Christmas alone it was not because I didn't want to spend Christmas with family or anything related it is that I had other things to do. You know, I had a job. You know, the December jobs. The retail December jobs. You only get like one day off. Actually, you don't get a day off. You just get a half day on Christmas Day. That's how lucky you get. I realized that I actually like spending Christmas alone. I actually like to be alone. Most of you now are going to say, Oh, you have a uh, mental illness or clinical disorder. Is the way. If you don't have it, you're not... You're not in style. <laughs> if you don't have clinical disorder, you are not doing the things. <laughs> so we are all losing it in some way. So however, so oh my god, really. Every home has a different tradition. So in our family, there's been a certain line of tradition, right? I mean, I, don't get me wrong, you guys. There's nothing wrong with tradition. Tradition is nice. Tradition is great. Tradition is like, yes, tradition, yes, yes, what my do me? Tradition? It's what you want. <laughs> it happens like yearly, every December, we have to be at home and spend Christmas Day. I just, low shedding just happened. Like, are we going to survive this low shedding thing? I mean, are we going to do it? Like, are we going to have the ability to be able to actually do it? You know, one of the major things that are making people crazy in South Africa. Just didn't have Christmas fever at all. To some extent, it didn't feel like it was Christmas, but it was Christmas. So since it's Christmas, it's on the calendar, then it means we're supposed to celebrate it. I woke up in the morning, cleaned the yard, and after making myself breakfast, I took a bath and I went to Mall of Africa to buy the necessary things that I needed to cook my Christmas dinner. The shops were closing, everything was in a rush and people were running around and all of that and I couldn't get all the things that I wanted but I got mostly the things that I needed. Christmas alone, they're like, oh, Mara, 
Like, I mean, you can come over to my page. You can, why? I don't understand people who don't want to spend Christmas with other people. And not going home, it, it's, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm throwing away culture or that I don't like to spend time with family or I don't want to be around my family. It's just that uh, when a situation occurs, it gets you to a point where you feel like you like something, you like a certain habit, you like a certain routine, and then you want to continue with that. I love them so much. I love them so much. And I did, of course, call them on Christmas Day to check up on them if they were having the time of their lives without me. They were not. I'm not really trying to change the family tradition. I kind of feel like... I mean, we've been following the system a lot and we do not know who created the system and why they created the system. And the times have changed. Some other system no longer accommodative to us, you know. So, but then there's nothing wrong with, I mean, following the system. But some of us, we just, we, we just want to do our own thing. And if God allows, that means he wants it to happen. In December, we are spending all the money. We are enjoying. We are, you know, we are having a fever. There's no way that you're going to sit down and not go and see people, you know? So some of us, we have friends which are outgoing. They like things. They like to do things. So you just got to align. I mean, who said in festive season we should be drinking? We should be doing all of those things. Just a matter of time till you leave and you continue with your broke as life. And you're going to be dead broke by the time you go back to Joburg because you're spending most of your money um, in unnecessary things. Now you start to tell people that I don't want to do this anymore and... Uh, they just look at you like it's a new story life so as much as the life is a new stuff basically i just don't want to actually i don't want to do these things <laughs> i don't want to be around people and in places where it's gonna make me spend money i don't want to be infused by the december fever at all like i, I don't like i feel like uh, this time is a time for me to actually reset and just calm down and rethink uh, about what what I'm about to do, what am I stepping into and uh, as the year begins. It's been a long, difficult year, a very long, hard year for me and a lot of things took place this year and it was really, really hard for me. I don't want to lie and say, oh my God, this was amazing. Yeah. No, it was not an amazing year. That doesn't mean I shouldn't celebrate it. I'm super, super, super um, loving myself, my independent self, and my developing self, and my growing self. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, like, um, drop the comments in the comment section below. And let me know how you spent your Christmas. And if you were with family or alone, and how was that for you? And um, what do you think about the, the changing of, of cultures and uh, the developing of the traditions that we have and the ones that you want to have for yourself and yeah you know you know we don't need to judge each other for that or over that everyone chooses whatever they want to choose and as long as it makes you happy then do it as long as you're okay it doesn't hurt anyone then do it i wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year